One thing, defense, okay? And I'm gonna go pretty quick into it, and there's really not much. I'm gonna show you just my style of defense, okay? My style of defense uh, from a leg lace, okay? If, no matter what, I transition everything, I get taken down, there's one thing I like to do, okay? And that's pull a knee up into my belly, up into my, my armpits, okay? Usually for me, it's my left leg, just because I feel comfortable there. I feel like that that's where, um, you know, I feel the comfort of, of, of defending from here, okay? Now, you see I transition. Anytime somebody transitions and they're taking me down or whatever it may be, I always pull a leg up into my armpit, okay? And when I pull a leg up into my armpit, I sort of put my weight over into that leg, into my thigh, cover it with my body, okay? And, and for the sheer reason, the sheer reason that, that if John Michael comes up here and he's trying to fight into a gut wrench, trying to fight into a gut wrench, there's no space there. Okay, there's no space. Okay, he can't just go in. You know, if I'm here, he has space to come in and get a lock, do all that stuff. Okay, so when I get taken down, I sort of push my body over that, that leg. Okay, and I'm defending here, my shoulders on the mat. All right, now, leg lace defense. Okay, and one thing, this, there's really only one or two things that I ever do. Okay, if, if I feel like he's fighting me in a gut wrench, I will stay on the mat like this if I have to fight a gut wrench. Okay. If I feel leg lace is coming, he's dropping, I can feel it, right? His shoulder's dropping below my butt. I literally tuck my toe in and roll over my foot, okay? So I know he's, he's dropping here, his, his shoulder's dropping. Tuck your toe in, roll over your foot, okay? Now, one thing you do with your head, you always need to look and start grabbing hands in freestyle, all right? You can't hold on to them, but you can, you can peel them off. Okay, peel him off your leg. And always look to see what he's doing. You don't have to, it's not folk style, you don't have to pick your head up. Look to see what he's doing. Grab hands, all right? Stay tight, he still can't, if he goes to, to release the leg lace and come up to gut wrench, that's fine, he still can't get in here. All right, I'm, I'm blocked off. Everything's fine, drop to leg lace, tuck your toe, back in. And I don't fall to my hip, I stay up here strong. And I'm still tight, there's no space in my thigh, none. Okay, and he can get all the way back here, try to pick my legs up, uh, do what he wants. All right, it ain't happening. I'm tight here, and I start grabbing hands. I peel off to tell you to get, get rid of it, peel it off. I'm always looking to see where he's at. Okay, he transitions up. I fall back down. Okay, and I like to sort of turn this hand up. That way, he can't dig in. I, I, and make sure you're flexing here, you're sort of tight, you know, in these positions. Nothing's, you know... Um, the where you can just get a lock, you can get a leg lace, you know, you don't want to fight from there. You want to feel it, you don't want to fight it, okay? I feel him transitioning to a lace, tuck my toe, roll over. Um, that's not a fight, that's a feel. That's me feeling him. I'm not fighting him, the position, letting him get a lace, and then, oh, I'm going to fight against him. No, I'm not that strong. All right, I got to feel it. I got to feel it. Start grabbing hands, posting them out, right? Looking to see what he's doing. Put your head on the mat. Here, okay? All right, being ready. All right, and that's pretty much, for me, my basic, you know, where I defend a leg lace, okay, when I defend a leg lace.